In the panel showing the spectrum tool, we can see a red vertical line. That line shows the frequency being tuned. At either side, we can see two dotted parallel white lines. These define the signal bandwidth over which the meter will try to identify the tuned signal and measure its power level. When we tune a broadcast signal, the meter will automatically identify it. And once this process is over, the two white lines will change to a full white band falling over our tuned signal. Simultaneously, the lower screen menu will turn green, showing that a signal has been identified and demodulated, and displaying on its right half the network name and transport stream total bitrate. While in this mode, dragging our finger up or down over the spectrum trace screen will modify the reference level in the vertical axis. When we drag it left or right, we move accordingly along the frequency band. To modify the span, you can pinch to zoom, that is, touch two fingers on the touch screen and move them apart to zoom in or together to zoom out. Within the spectrum panel, we find four fields in the bottom, giving quick information about the frequency value being tuned, the center frequency shown in the spectrum window, and the span and attenuator selected. Pressing on any of these buttons will take the user to the corresponding field in the main tuning menu. If we press on the cog at the top right corner of the Spectrum Analyzer panel, we will find additional setup options such as selecting the Spectrum Trace mode, selecting how we want to display the marker, resolution bandwidth filter value and a button that will center the tune frequency on the spectrum panel.